Hi there. Let's uh, start off this video today by just saying that I have no idea how I'm supposed to pronounce the title of the song that we're going to listen to, but it's by an artist called Blanca Paloma, or Blanca Paloma, and it's uh, called EAEA, -E -A, or maybe there's... it's supposed to be pronounced in a different way, I have no idea. It's song number seven from uh, the Spanish National Final for Eurovision 2023, and uh, yeah, two to go. Let's see if this is uh, a potential winner. Yeah, enjoyable one, that. Um, just so, like, what do you call it, like, uh, outstanding compared to the rest. It's very different from, from all of the other songs we've heard, of course. It's more reliant on just, like, I think vocal uh, playfulness, I'd say. Uh, melodically really intriguing. I like that opening a lot from the song, mainly, I think. It's a very intriguing and... and uh, Maybe not an eye-catching, but an ear-catching uh, opening with that descending melody um, really just being the, the focal point right from the get-go. Um, and then the song kind of progresses. It never really changes chords or does anything um, uh, too, like, out there instrumental-wise or, or so. But uh, it's just that the vocal is always the, the constant focal point throughout the entire song and, and how the backing vocals also are incorporated throughout. Uh, by harmonies and also by just kind of the storytelling aspect of the song, I'd say. Um, the, a lot of it comes down to, of course, as well, the performance that you kind of see on the stage. It's it's an artistic expression that I haven't really been able to delve into here from just watching it. I'm just kind of intrigued by, by all the movement uh, and where uh, things are leading each other to. Um, as a song, it's not something that I would probably like, uh, listen to on a playlist, um, just out of nowhere, but it's all, uh, it's just one of those songs that kind of more intrigued me as, a, like, a project in an artistic expression manner, um, which I think this definitely is a part of. Um, very unsure so far of what to really make of it. Um, I'm intrigued by it. I can sit through the three minutes and just be, like, more, yeah, just simply intrigued by it and, and fascinated by, by everything they put together here. But I can also um, block, if I block out the video and, and seeing it, then I would probably think that it's a bit on the more repetitive side if you consider it on a song writing level. But I don't really think that that's what it should be judged as because it's more of an of an artistic expression, as I said. And, and then you can't really um, judge it based on, on like songwriting, songwriting credentials and what it does. Um, in terms of, of chord intervals or melody or, or whatnot, because it's not really the purpose of the song as I get it in this listening to it now on the first listen. Um, but yeah, that's just the way I'm feeling about it now. It's, um, it's an intriguing song and an even more intriguing performance, I'd say. I think everything is also very well executed on stage. It's brilliant lighting, brilliantly choreographed, and, and the movements. Is, it all feels very purposeful. And then you have a vocal delivery, which I think is, you know, flawless throughout. There's never really any moment where you feel like it's it's not controlled. Uh, and that's that's a, just a great sense of, of um, security, I'd say. And, and uh, it feels makes me feel very comfortable listening to it as well um, through all of the drama and twists and turns that, that uh, it takes melodically and, and mood-wise. Um, fascinating one. I'll, I'll be listening to it a few more times and really just to just kind of make up my mind what I think about it, um, and we'll see uh, we'll see how far it goes. It's it's always intriguing to hear what how well songs like this are received. But of course, it's received pretty well because it's it's made the final. So uh, yeah, interesting one, and uh, looking forward to also listening to the final song, which uh, the review will be up for shortly. I'd say. Um, thank you so much for watching this video, and uh, maybe I'll see you some other time as well. I hope hopefully I will. Um, take care until then, and bye-bye.